Where I work, we are over 200 um, people and there's only five black people. So it's really hard for me. Day in, day out, my colleagues make racist comments. I felt it was wrong, but didn't feel I was able to actually do anything tangible about it. The average UK worker will work 82,068 hours over their lifetime. But for many black, Asian and minority ethnic workers, they face more hurdles in the workplace. This can include less pay and being stuck on temporary or zero hour contracts. 37% of people from ethnic minorities have been abused at work, for which many, this has led on to mental health problems. Unfortunately, the workplace is a reflection of society, and whenever society has racist problems, the workplace has racist problems. People who um, are loose with their language allows other people within workplace to think, well, this is kind of common language now, this is the sort of thing that we can say, and that's what's going on at the moment. It's just this atmosphere of hate. People are just not nice to each other, and I think that rubs off in the workplace. Sadly, in the North East, we've seen a rise of hate crime, and particularly racism, across the whole of the region and clearly that does manifest itself in workplaces. We know it's an issue across the whole of British society but it's an issue for teachers as well. We see it in uh, you know lots of different ways. There's not enough uh, black head teachers. The government is rolling out performance related pay and every time we look at this we find that black people tell us they get less performance related pay than white people. It can be mimicking, it can be teasing, it can be um, kind of jumping on the fact that somebody's got an accent or it could be outright institutional racism in the form of discriminatory practices such as putting BME teachers in particular on capability or adding extra scrutiny and monitoring to them in the classroom. I remember just after the referendum going around to a hospital and seeing um, some of our members saying to me um, you know, I was told by um, a patient the other day, don't touch me, I don't want that blackness rubbing off on me. This is the sort of stuff that some of our people used to get in the, you know, in the kind of so-called Windrush generation where they were being told the same sort of thing. And sadly, this sort of thing's back. So it's a real big issue. It's not pretend, it's not something that's gone away. It's real life today. We have examples almost weekly of racism in the workplace now, and it's uh, very pernicious, very dangerous, and something that we're very aware of. What we've seen is an explosion of casualised employment. People no longer have secure jobs, they no longer have secure wages, a guaranteed pay increase, and therefore they're looking for someone to blame. They're therefore saying that people are over here taking our jobs, all nonsense. I think Brexit has given um, a lot of people a voice to express themselves, how they really feel about people who don't look like them, especially um, people from the ethnic minor minorities, because personally I have been um, told to go home. I've been told, yeah, we've voted for Brexit. What are you, what are you still doing here? And um, uh, it is on the rise, I would say. There's so much uh, uh, racism going on in this workplace that sometimes you can feel it. Or so, uh, it's sometimes I walk in workplace, no one greets me or, or talks to me. I think that there should always be regular refresher training. I think it's something that is so prevalent and it's something that is connected to so many other issues that it's never ever going to go away unless we carry on trying to enlighten, trying to be aware and trying to connect. I think we have to remember as trade unionists as well that yes we have to do those marches and yes we have to stand up against that really horrible face um, of racism and fascism but we also have to remember what we're good at really good at which is dealing with issues in the workplace and I think we have to do that again and refocus our work around how we deal with the institutional racism that is still so ripe within um, the workplace, how we make sure that black workers get paid the same as white workers for doing the same job, how we make sure that black workers get promoted when they deserve it and are not penalised because of the colour of their skin. You know, These are some of the things that we really have to um, knuckle down and really focus on again.
again and making sure that equality policies actually work. Education. Nelson Mandela said it's the most powerful tool in the world and it is. We're trying to give our reps the tools to tackle racism in the workplace, give them the confidence to deal with their members whenever their members are coming out with racist language and tell them how to deal with the far right and the messaging of the far right. Education is the core for everything. That's the reason why Unite is proud to support true racism in the red card. Go into workplaces, whether that be a school, whether that be a hospital workplace, as I've said, or a council or a college, and talk to Unison members and Unison reps about how they can tackle racism whenever they see it, how we can support people who are being subjected to racism when they're at work. And then we will also talk to employers where there are where there is racism to highlight it with them and to work with them to make sure that everybody can go to work without the worry of uh, being subjected to racist abuse at work. We are in a situation at the moment where exploitative employers use migrant labour to essentially pay a cheaper wage. So, you know, I'm not having it that migrants drive down wages. No, it's exploitative bosses that drive down wages. Greedy bosses using workers as a resource and using workers in order to increase their profit, using division, causing division between indigenous workers and workers from foreign shores, an absolute disgrace. And obviously the solution to it is trade union organisation, trade unions in the workplace representing workers regardless of which country they come from is the solution to all of our problems. Whether you are a Polish worker, whether you are a worker from Concert, where I represent, you will be paid the same rate and you will be welcome in this country and you will be welcome at any workplace and you will be on the same rate because there will also be an enforcement regime if exploitative employers refuse to pay the same rate because we're in the ludicrous situation at the moment where you've got some night shift workers that are all migrant labour because the, the night shift rate is so inadequately poor and then the day shift is all British work as that segregated workplace. We can't end up in that situation. It's important to speak out if you suffer or witness racism in the workplace. If you do, contact your trade union or show racism the red card.